Hello. Welcome to the next lesson in the Center for Science of Information's Combinatorics module. Today, we'll discuss one-to-one -one correspondences, which is a method of checking whether two sets have the same size or cardinality. Let's say, for example, we have several flowers and several bees. If each bee is paired to a different flower, and all bees and flowers are paired, then we actually know that the number of bees and flowers are the same. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say we have a classroom full of seats. If the classroom has 30 seats, how many students are enrolled in the class? We clearly don't have enough information to answer this question yet, but if we knew that all the seats were taken, do we know how many students are enrolled in the class yet? It may be tempting to answer 30, but actually there may be additional students not in attendance. So we only know that there are at least 30 students enrolled in the class. Now, suppose instead we have a classroom with 30 seats and we only know that all students are in attendance. Do we know how many students are in the class yet? It may be tempting to answer 30 again, but actually not all the seats may be occupied this time. So we only know there are at most 30 students enrolled in the class. Finally, if we know we have a classroom of 30 seats, all the seats are taken, and all enrolled students are present, we know there are exactly 30 students enrolled in the class. This brings us to the idea of one-to-one -one correspondences. A one-to-one -one correspondence is a pairing, or a function, between the elements of two sets, such that every element of each set is paired with exactly one element of the other set. When this happens, we know that the two sets have the same size or cardinality. Let's take another example. Let's say we have the following two sets, A equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and B equals 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2. Then we're looking for a function f that is a pairing between the elements of A and B. Since the elements don't really matter in terms of order, as long as we find a pairing, let's just list B as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And let's try pairing 1 and 2 together so that f of 1 equals 2. Let's try the function f of x equals x plus 1. Then we have f of 2 equals 3, but 3 is not in B, so f does not work. Does this mean that A and B have different number of elements? Well, not necessarily. It just means we didn't successfully find a function f. So let's try again. We want f of 1 to be 2. So what about f of x equals 2x? Well, then f of 2 equals 4, and 4 is in B, so we're off to a good start. In fact, f of 3 equals 6, f of 4 equals 8, and f of 5 equals 10. And indeed, f of x equals 2x is a pairing between the elements of A and the elements of B. So f of x equals 2x is a one-to-one -one correspondence between A and B. Thus, A and B have the same size. In general, a one-to-one -one correspondence is a pairing between the elements of two sets so that each element in one set is paired with exactly one element in the other set. This seems like a simple idea, but it's actually a very powerful tool that can be used to prove that two sets have the same number of elements, even when the sets are infinitely large.